Hey guys, and welcome to today's idiot video. And oh boy, do we have a good one for you today. And as you can tell, the video image quality has gotten a lot better. And that's because with the help of the community, I was able to purchase myself a Canon G7X Mark III camera, which is going to make all the difference moving forward in my productions. So thank you to everyone in the community who was able to contribute, and a special thank you to Cy Strikling, daughter of Cy Strike, a legend in our community, for not only pointing me in the right direction for this camera, but also for suggesting today's idiot video, which comes from Flat Earth idiot, Shelly Lewis. I'm Shelley Lewis. I'm a graduate of West Point, critical thinker, and jumped out of the airplanes. No, no, no. Not that video. I've already covered how stupid she looked on Jubilee. This is Shelley Lewis. I'm at um, Dana Point Gelson's. Yes, this video of Shelley Lewis getting triggered in public and being denied services at a grocery store in Dana Point, California. And yes, it's the same Shelley Lewis. I live in Dana Point. So let's begin. Okay, so I need to talk to a manager because. I will absolutely humbly go get a manager yeah. for you if you'd like to hang out with me for awesome. just a moment. If not, we can provide you with one. I'm not wearing a mask. Okay, understood. I'll Perfect. Just a moment and I'll bring, go ahead. I'll go ahead. Shit, this Michael Jackson music is 100% going to get this video claimed. But in case you didn't hear the gentleman at the front of the store, he said that the store would offer her a mask if she didn't have one so that she could continue to shop normally. But she outright said, I am not wearing a mask. Now, I'll admit, recently I did leave the house and forgot to take a mask with me. But when I was offered a complimentary mask, I had no problem wearing it. I don't see what the big deal is. But then again, I'm not a fucking idiot like Shelly Lewis. Hi, I have a medical condition that I'm not allowed to wear a mask and I'm not required by HIPAA rule, re, rules and regulations to okay. disclose that. <laughs> so, um, what does that look like? Well, it looks like you don't know what the fuck you're talking about and you're a total fucking idiot. Because HIPAA stands for Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, and it's designed to protect the personal information of patients in a time where medical information is being shared electronically between medical institutions. But what HIPAA doesn't apply to is grocery store managers, you moron. I have private things I want to get, but maybe I don't want you to see. I would love to see Shelly's normal shopping experience where she keeps everyone in the store from knowing that she has to buy extra large tampons. Almost every public shopping experience has you put items in a cart and publicly walk it to a register. So your point is invalid and you're a fucking idiot. But I can't let you in the store without a mask. Okay, so where's the regulations that state that? We'll come back to this point later, but don't forget she said this. The regulations? Yeah. Because you're discriminating against me now, do you know that? I'm, I'm... No, Shelly. He's not discriminating against you. He'd be discriminating against you if he was letting other team-killing fucktards in and keeping you out. No, he's denying all of you idiots because of the company's store policies regarding the safety of other customers and their own employees. I'm you're discriminating you against me. No, because okay. I have private inf I have private stuff okay. that I don't okay. want you to see. Then, you can... then shop online, you idiot. You have options, Shelly. You don't have to be a public nuisance every time you step out of the door. Oh wait, I forgot. You're a flat earther. You're a walking, talking, oxygen thieving, public nuisance by default. Can call corporate office, but I can't help you. Okay, well you guys can get a lawsuit. And I would love to see the look on the judge's face when you tell him why you're there wasting the court's time. Now, you're an idiot. <laughs> I'm going to explain why you're an idiot so that your family will know you're an idiot, your friends will know you're an idiot, everybody here will know you're an idiot, 10 million people in the United States will know you're an idiot, and probably 100 million people throughout the world will know why. What's your first name? I'm Shelly Lewis. Why? Shelly Lewis is an idiot. Because you can't, you can't discriminate. I'm trying to help you, but I'm no, not going to you. can't, how, how is that, how's that helping when you're going to do shopping for me? Oh my God, Shelly, you answered your own question, you idiot. I'm gonna give you my bank information. I'm doing the best I can how do I, you. how do I do the transaction? 
transactions will do for you. No, you're, I'm going to give you my credit card, my private credit card, sure. for you to go and take and pay with my... We're trying to help you. That's How's that sure. helping me? Well, it's helping you by giving you a way to get what you need when you were too stupid to wear a mask. And don't give me that giving away my information bullshit. drive through windows and restaurant waiters regularly take credit cards from their owner's possessions to process payment for items that somebody else has prepared for them. And I guarantee you that Shelly is not jumping over the counter at McDonald's to make her own Big Mac. This is Shelly Lewis. I'm at um, Dana Point Gelson's. So if anybody who, um, if anybody wants to shop here, you have to have a mask. And here is the, the policies. Oh, fuck. Remember what Shelly said earlier about the policies? Well, there you go. Clearly visible and legible public signs that state the store's policy. Shelly literally had to walk past these signs to get to the front of the store. She could have just read the signs, turned around and got a mask, or went and shopped somewhere else. But that would require reading comprehension, and we all know how good flat earthers are at reading and comprehension. Fucking idiots which um, state that they will shop for me, take my, my money, my private credit card, and um, utilize that. I'm going to just let them go do that. I've already pointed out the stupidity in this statement, but let's recap. Shelly, you're bitching about something you normally do. When you shop at a grocery store and you put an item in your cart, anyone in the store can see it's not private, and people regularly give up their credit cards to process payments. You are a fucking idiot. So, um, no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Then you're not going to get what you came to get. Simple enough. As much as it's your right not to shop there, it's their right not to let you shop there. Especially when you're being an idiot and posing a medical risk to the other customers and employees. Oh, you're pretty, you're pretty chipper. You're pretty chipper. Huh? You're happy? Why not be? Why are you happy? It takes a real human piece of shit to recognize another human's happiness and question it just because she's not getting her way. Fuck off, Shelly. Go ruin your husband's day. Or how about this? Go abandon another fucking business partner in the middle of nowhere. And I'm glad this store employee just kept on with his great day and ignored your dumbass. Store employee one, flat earth idiot, zero. Yeah. Normally I'm a bartender and I wouldn't have a job. Yeah. Have a well, good. I mean, I'm glad you guys think it's okay to like infringe on people's rights here. You're infringing on people's rights. What right, Shelly? Which of your rights were infringed upon? You didn't have to divulge any private information, nor were you held against your will. You were denied service because you don't like to play by the rules. You ever heard of that phrase, no shirt, no shoes, no service? Well, this directly applies to you, Shelly. You're a fucking idiot. Okay, so I think this is going to be where we end the video today. Today's video was just a quick video to test out my camera and expose a flatter dipshit for the subhuman piece of trash that she really is. Shelly Lewis, you are a fucking idiot. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed this new style of content and production as it's probably going to be the new format moving forward. Be sure to hit the like button and let me know what you think in a comment below. Also, I can't say thank you enough to Cy Strykling for her continued support of this channel and her great recommendation on this camera. And I'd like to give a special shout out to all of my channel members and patrons for their continued support, which helps me keep doing what I love to do. Calling out idiots on the internet. I'm Team Skeptic, and I'm out.